Now, okay, this man screen. was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, thank you all for stopping by Towns Inn. And y'all know why we here. We just at the bar, having a drink, and chopping it up. Yo, listen, whoever's running the social media account for the New Orleans Pelicans, hilarious, all right? So <laughs> that mashup right there for Stephen A. Smith is kind of funny. I mean, I look at it like this, all right? They just sticking up for their boy Zion because, you know, Stephen A has been very critical of him. And so, with that being said, what do y'all think about like Stephen A. Smith and how he covers the um how he covers sports, especially um basketball? When you look at someone like him and um even a, a skip Bayless, I know it's the the business is is entertainment. You have to entertain people. But a lot of times, like they talk reckless about players. For me, I played basketball before. Um, I played it. I played in college. Nothing crazy, but um, I never could fix my mouth to talk crazy about someone in the NBA in a manner that they're just so trash or whatever. And I wasn't good enough to make it to that level. Like I don't. I would. I would venture to say I could be wrong, but I would venture to say that being that Stephen A. played ball in college, that if he was good enough, that he would have pursued playing in the NBA. He would have played in the NBA and then would have became like, you know, a journalist afterwards. I don't think that he would say, nah, I don't want to play in the NBA. I would I'd rather be a journalist. I don't know. That's just, just me thinking. But uh, so with that being said, a lot of times, you know, when, when sometimes he's covered some people or talked about people, he talked about them like like he was better than them and stuff like that. So I guess it's kind of like a, 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 a it should be like a balance. I guess from my perspective, but what do you all think about that, right? How do you all feel about someone that isn't able to um, do, doesn't have the skill set or the capacity to, to do certain things talking reckless like that? Now, I'm not sitting here saying just because someone um, wasn't real good at basketball that they can't be critical. I'm just saying just the delivery at times. So, but clearly, um, there's a lane for that because when you look at first take, and you um you look at undisputed like Skip and and Sh uh Skip and my fault Stephen A Smith they've been on on the air for years so clearly they have an audience and clearly it's a lot of people that you know support what they do and like what they do you know I listen to them sometimes like I hear what they had to say but sometimes I'm like yeah that's kind of reckless but what do you all think about that so I was on Twitter. And um, I saw that Stephen A. Smith responded, right? So the first thing he said, less. Can't score when you can't play due to a devastating knee injury. That's my fact. Now, what's y'all excuse for never winning anything? Can't wait to see y'all in April, May, and June. We won't even go there. Good luck. Tell my boys, Coach Green and CJ, I'm always rooting for them. All right? Then he tweeted another one. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I think y'all already know y'all can't talk nearly as much as me. So be my guest. I've got 24-7, 365 days a year. Then he left another message. I could zero in, but I won't. Happen to, I happen to be fans of several players, plus the coach, and definitely that city. You play, I'll be watching. I'm not going anywhere. Good luck. Then again, another one. <laughs> One more thing. Thank you so much for watching First Take and the Stephen A. Smith Show. It's so appreciated. We love the viewers and the views, and we welcome all reactions, child. So to me, that just sounds like that that got under his skin. He may have felt a little slighted or kind of embarrassed uh, by the low light reel that they put together. And um, so as the saying goes, the old saying go goes. It ain't no fun when a rabbit has a gun. So that may have been one of those things. But then I saw something else. 
I saw Jalen Rose had tweeted something. Now, I don't know if this is directed at Stephen A. Smith, but I do know people do feel this way about certain individuals within the media game. You know, I, I'm not saying he's saying this, taking the shots at Stephen A. Smith. I'm not saying that he didn't either, but he posted this. He said, dear athletes, media folks going to trash you for the fame. Get paid, then apologize when the check clears. So y'all take, take that however you want to. But y'all let me know what y'all think about, like, how the media um just... You know, covers the sport and like a lot of times, you know, when we watch these shows and we listen to radio shows, it's like a kind of like a shock jock type thing. It's like the more outlandish stuff you may say, the more people are inclined to listen to you because it's just it's just wild. And like with the average person not talking like that or or they may feel as though it's barbershop talking something like that. And so that's why a lot of people are attracted to it. But y'all let me know what you all think about the situation. Let me know what y'all think about the video. It's just just media coverage of Stephen A. Smith in general. As always, I appreciate you all watching, and y'all have a good one out there. Be safe. I'm out. All right? Peace.